Hollowbrook. In the quiet, forgotten town of Hollowbrook, where the sun rarely peeked through the thick canopy of trees, a sense of unease settled like a mist. It was as if the very air held secrets, whispered tales of darkness that danced just beyond the edge of perception. At the heart of the town stood an old Victorian mansion, its once grand facade now weathered and worn. The locals spoke of it in hushed tones, referring to it as the haunting house. The stories that circulated were the stuff of nightmares, phantom footsteps echoing in the halls, shadowy figures glimpsed from the corner of one's eye, and the chilling feeling that someone, or something, was always watching. No one had dared enter the mansion for decades, until one stormy night, a young journalist named Sarah arrived in Hollowbrook. Drawn by rumours of the house's dark history, she saw it as the perfect opportunity to make her name in the field of investigative reporting. Armed with a flashlight, a notepad, and a sense of reckless curiosity, Sarah stepped through the decaying threshold. The air inside was thick with the scent of dampness and decay. The floorboards creaked under her every step, and the shadows danced along the walls like ghostly wraiths. Sarah's heart raced, a mixture of fear and anticipation mingling within her chest. As she explored the mansion's eerie chambers, she uncovered old photographs, faded letters, and fragments of lives long forgotten. Each discovery seemed to whisper secrets, tales of tragedies that had unfolded within these walls. The deeper she delved, the more she realized that the stories were not just tales spun from thin air, they were the echoes of real lives, real pain. In the dead of night, as rain pelted the windows and thunder rumbled, Sarah found herself in a room unlike the others. The air grew colder, and a faint glow emanated from a corner. As her flashlight's beam revealed the source, her breath caught, an ancient mirror, tarnished and cracked. In its reflection, she saw fleeting images, a grieving mother, a man driven to madness, a child lost in the dark. The mirror seemed to pull her in, its surface rippling like water. Fear gripped her, but curiosity and a morbid fascination held her ground. As she stared, her own reflection began to change. Her eyes grew hollow, her skin ashen. The mirror showed her visions of her own past, her regrets and fears laid bare. She was trapped, suspended between reality and a nightmarish realm. With a wrenching effort, she tore her gaze away from the mirror's grasp. Gasping for air, she stumbled back, her heart racing. She realized that the house was not just haunted by specters from the past, but by the very darkness that lay within the human soul. Sarah fled the mansion that night, her mind haunted by the terrors she had glimpsed. But she couldn't shake the feeling that the house had changed her, that it had peeled back the layers of her own psyche and exposed the darkness lurking within. And so, as Hollowbrook faded into the distance, the town and its haunted mansion remained, a chilling reminder that sometimes, the true horror lies not in the shadows, but within ourselves.